Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. Now, this is going to be a short video. I, I, I developed a problem and I, I made, I found a work around. I just want to let everyone know in case somebody else is having the same issues. Now, I've been playing World of Tanks and I've been, you know, use the W key to go forward and whatever and I'll have the W key press. And I'll be going forward and then I'll stop. I have to press the W key again. And it goes again and it stops. And then with my mouse, sometimes it, it's like it goes to sleep and I wiggle it and it takes off again. And I am finally get fed up with it. So, I, you know, something's going around. So I thought first I had a bad, because they're wireless. So I thought I had a bad receiver and I had a separate receiver. So I swapped receivers and I moved them to the, from the back computer, the back of the case, USB port to one on the top, and it, same problem. So now, I'm going, what's going on here? So I go on to Logitech's website. So these are Logitech, it's a Logitech K800 keyboard, and it's the, uh, my mouse is the Logitech uh, Performance MX. And I'm reading and it says, be, you know, if you're having issues, you know, well, check to make sure you don't have any radio interference from wireless speakers, monitors, and, and a few other things. I know there was a, like a garage door opener. I don't have a garage door opener. And, oh, oh, and you're not using it on a metal surface. So I'm going, what's going on here? Um, I mean, the stated range has been tested up to a max of 30 feet, and we're talking three feet here. But, no. I had a similar problem with my old case, but I solved that from moving it from the back to the front. I thought it was a speed thing because I'm using a keyboard and a mouse, so I put it in my USB 3 port, which was on the front of my old computer case. But this one, I moved it up here and it still had head issues. So I said, okay, I gotta test to see if this is a problem, the problem, you know? So I figured out I have had a USB cable extender. So I plug that into the back, plug the the uh, uh, unified receiver dongle into into the uh, extender cable and set it in front of the monitor. And lo and behold, I haven't had any issues. Now come on, Logitech. It's three feet. This is a standard setup. Millions of people have a similar setup than this. You know, you got a case on the desk, you put your your dongle in the back because you want it out of the way and it don't work good. So if you've got Logitech unifying receiver issues where it seems to be acting up every now and again Try doing what I did and get a USB extender and set them real close to the uh, set the adapt yeah, the dongle real close to the your keyboard and mouse and see if the problem went away like mine. Okay, so uh, this is your crazy old coot saying you guys have a good evening and uh, hope uh, you don't have this issue. Thank you.